Almost every time I come to James chapter 2, I find myself reflecting on theology. Let's start with the fact that the book of James is Holy Scripture. It's an extremely practical book, much like Proverbs is to the Old Testament. James was written to a group of Christians in whom there was this tendency to divorce faith from works. They were claiming to have faith, yet there existed among them impatience and strife and evil talk and worldliness. James makes clear that a faith which does not produce holiness of life is a dead thing. It's a mere assent to doctrine, which goes no farther than the intellect. Still, every time I come to this passage, I find myself trying to dig a little deeper. What does James mean by faith? Does my definition of faith line up with James' definition of faith? What does James mean by works? The answer to that question, by the way, is obvious. He answers it very clearly in verses 15 and 16, 21 and 25. What makes Abraham and Rahab examples of faith? Why? This passage begins in verse 14 with the words, What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but do not have works? Can faith save you? In the context, this is a rhetorical question. We can tell the answer is supposed to be, well, of course that faith can't save you. It's no good at all. One thing this passage can do for Christians is make us confront our own thinking about the way we live our Christian life. The perennial question of what do we have to do to be saved? It's not really the question that James is asking. The question of salvation, whether we have it or we don't have it, it, it it doesn't preoccupy James' thinking, but it sure does a lot of Christians. In many of our churches, salvation is the only focus of Christian preaching and teaching. It's easy to get the idea that the only thing that matters in church is whether or not we can get people to pray, Dear Jesus, come into my heart. Amen. And after that question's answered, nothing else matters. <sighs> That's not a biblical Christianity. Faith plus works is God's design for the way we live our Christian life. If you've not done anything for Jesus this week, I suggest you work it out. Heavenly Father, thank you that you sent the Lord Jesus to pay the price for my sins and that my salvation is by grace through faith and not dependent on my works. But yet, God, I know as I walk my walk of faith, I need to produce fruit that will glorify you. Lord, be glorified as much by what I do as by what I say. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.